afternoon, a sloppy Wednesday on tap. Temperatures working their way through the 30s. We'll get back into the 40s for the most part, mainly after the rain shuts off. The winds out of the southeast at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. We are seeing the winds really ramp up, especially across south side right now. 43 degrees by 3 o'clock as we keep showers in the mix. I do think, though, for the evening commute, most of this is out of here, so it's going to be much, much better than this morning. We are still seeing freezing rain across parts of the area. Very heavy rainfall now across much of south side and through the Roanoke Valley, zeroing in on where we're still seeing the freezing rain in the pink here for us in Bedford through Lynchburg. So be on the lookout for 60 if you're heading out for some patchy icy spots. Most of this is just on elevated surfaces on power lines on cars. So you may have to scrape if you've been at work all morning, things like that. So just keep that in mind. Amherst, we are seeing that as well. Best opportunity for some of those slick spots going to be in the highlands. No ice, but still some very, very heavy rainfall in the darker oranges and yellows here through Chatham working your way if you're going to be driving down 41 through downtown Danville as well. 311, we are getting a lot of heavy rainfall. That's continuing for us across Martinsville and into Henry County as well. 40 degrees in South Boston. You see those arrows really whipping through parts of uh, South Side. 37 degrees uh, pumping in, at least trying to bring in some warmer air. We'll see that surge through over the next several hours. We are at the freezing mark right now, just about in Roanoke. We're at 35 in Blacksburg. As I mentioned, most of this getting out of here for the evening commute. Here's 4 o'clock and notice air cold enough in the highlands for some western slope snow showers to get going. We have those scattered showers working their way out. There's five, six o'clock for your commute home. Most of us good news done with all of this slop that is pushing off towards the east. We will see skies start to clear overnight and really by daybreak tomorrow. There's 11 o'clock tonight. Notice we are clearing things out seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Sunshine going to return and stay with us as we close out the work week. Here is the big system again, bringing a lot of snow to places like Pennsylvania that to wintry mess across much of northern Virginia into Maryland and the southern part of the state. Now most of us just seeing plain old rain, but you see there is an end in sight there once we get towards the clouds back in West Virginia into Kentucky and there is that clearing line west of Cincinnati that will arrive tomorrow. Mention the winds and they are picking up. Look at this by 830 tonight. We have gusts 20 to 35 miles an hour, so it is going to get windy tonight. Going to stay windy overnight. There's midnight 1 o'clock in the morning, 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts across much of the area. Once we get into tomorrow morning as we clear out our skies, big area of high pressure slides in and you see what happens really by the second half of the morning. We will start to see improvements and then winds almost go calm a little bit as we get towards the second half of Thursday for tonight. We're going to see things dry out. It is going to be a little chilly around the freezing mark in Roanoke, upper 20s and Martinsville teens in hot springs. But again, a drying and clearing trend comes our way back in the mid 40s for Thursday. Look at this. We're going to warm things up a little bit getting into Friday. Lower 50s come our way and staying in the 50s on Saturday. Rain chances start to build for the second half of the day into Sunday. Another good soaking rain coming in our direction. Look at that. We also turn warm right around 60. We'll go back into the 50s Monday and Tuesday with just slight rain chances coming away. But all of this great news for the drought situation, Patrick.